All right. I hope the battery doesn't die. Eric, right. how's it going? Good. It's good to be back in West Van. Or not West Van. I'm saying Vancouver. West Van. We're in Van right now. We're in Vancouver. Yeah. Uh, Eric, I always start off, we point the camera to the okay. to the, to the camera and go click, click. click. Hello everyone, this is Taka from Big Head Taco and I'm here with Eric, Kim, and Leo's camera supply. We're having a good time. I, we hope, actually, Cindy, if you could stand there, just tell us when, if the battery dies. Okay. The battery is very close to dying. So um, anyways, we're here for many reasons. Yep. You're in town. That's one reason why we're here. That's always good. And another reason is to talk. One of them is I want to thank you. Thank you for last year. You did an interview of me in Chinatown, and my profile went up. Sick. So to, I'm so glad. To being that friends helped. with Eric makes a big difference. Yeah. Uh, and another reason is um, I saw. I'm jealous. You got to play with the the, the new Leica Q before me, right? In Bellevue, they have yeah. a Leica store. Yeah. We don't have a Leica store here, but Leo's does carry Leica cameras here. But one day, hopefully, we'll have a Leica store in Vancouver. Awesome. But uh, what what did you think about the Leica the, the Leica Q? I think the Leica Q was actually a pretty cool. I, I didn't even know that it was coming out, and I yeah, got no, a, nobody knew. I got an email from a Leica rep, and they're like, "Oh, like new Leica Q." I'm yeah. like, "Oh, this is another new X Barrier or Vlux, whatever." I'm looking through. I'm like, "I like the X Barrier." But anyway, sorry. <laughs> anyway, so I look at the Leica Q. I'm like. This actually looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, I love the fact that it's full frame, yeah, yeah. compact. I love it that it has no interchangeable yeah. lens. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. for me, the biggest thing is actually the fact that it has a focusing focus tab. tab. Yeah. The yeah. bottom, yeah. very yeah, similar yeah. to the Leica. So, what lens do you have? Uh, I have a 35 Super Pro. Oh, okay. Okay. So, I mean, uh, honestly, I think it's an engineering marvel in what they've been able yeah. to do with the macro functioning mode yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, I think honestly, it just comes down to price, right? Is mm -hmm. that like, are you going to drop like close to five grand on the camera or not? But I think if you have the disposable income yeah, yeah, and you yeah. want the best compact camera for street photography with all these features, I mean, I don't think you could beat the Leica Q. No, I, I think, yeah, and, and, and a little bit, we talked about the 28, because, you know, the 35, Leica, I'm not sure if you know this, but on BNH, there's 10 versions of the 35mm lens. Uh, Noctilux, a Sumalux, a Sumacron. For the 35? Or no, for the 50. Oh, for the 50, yeah, yeah. 35, I think there's still five versions. Yeah. Or, or eight versions. There's quite a few black, white, aspherical, non-aspherical, yeah. silver. So that would have seemed to make more sense, but because this is technically like a point and shoot, yeah. it makes a bit of sense that it's a 28. Don't you agree? I agree, because I think, uh, like even on the Ricoh GR, which we're actually recording this video on. Yes, we are. Um, the thing with, you know, and if, if people use the LCD screen, it's easier, let me see the camera. Yeah. It's easier to shoot at 28 mil like this mm. than it is to yeah, shoot yeah, yeah, yeah. like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like in that sense, you know, 28 actually makes more sense because it's essentially like a point and shoot on steroids. Yeah, 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 basically. So, and also, you know, because there's the in-camera crop mode, 435 and yeah, yeah, 50, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that makes more sense than having a camera that was 35 full frame equivalent, yeah. then you can't like make it wider and shoot 28. That's right. So I think it's just more versatile in that sense. Because you can even see the, the crop lines like a real rangefinder. Yeah. So you can see things coming entering into your frame and then entering out, right? Yeah. And as you mentioned in your video, it saves the DNG file as a 28 anyways. Yeah. So the JPEG is cropped, but then the DNG stays that way, so if you want to keep it the full 28 wide, yeah. right? So yeah, yeah, I'm having a good time. I brought the X, um, so you can do? say hi. Pretty, here we go. So I bought my X, my, my review X100T to kind of compare. I didn't shoot one frame with it. I, I shouldn't say that because I love this camera. Yeah. I've had it for eight months. I usually return it after a month, so I've had it for seven months longer than nice. I should have. Awesome. Beautiful artist and an artist strap nice. on here. But nice. uh, And I was going to swap out, but you know, Leica, out of all the brands, actually makes decent leather straps. Yeah, they do. Most brands, you kind of have to toss the, the strap they give you. But this oh, is... Yeah. I and think they have they, a little felt on the other side. Yeah, too. exactly. Or it's like a suede or something like that. Yeah. But, um, and it's the right length. Asian, well, maybe not for you. Wait, put it on. Like, what length do you like? Um, Nice I like, I like, I like, a, I like the, the right length. <laughs> the right, oh, I see. The right length for your height. That's pretty good. Like that. It's a little bit low for me, but I yeah. prefer it a little, little bit high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I prefer the Asian tourist look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, well, for me, it's it's a little bit low, but across the body, it's fine. Yeah, right? definitely. But when you walk, it does tend to bump a little bit. Yeah. But uh, in terms of uh, street photography, uh, Eric, uh, you've kind of been an advocate for this, uh, I don't want to call it a new art form, because uh, brisson has been doing it. He did it back in the 40s and 50s. Yeah. It's been around a while, but... It has evolved a bit with digital. Yeah. You know, uh, film, in the old days, you have to be careful with every shot because it costs you money. Mm -hmm. And now you can just kind of brrr like that, yeah. right? But uh, what do you think about the modern state of street photography? I mean, I think it's an exciting new world because it's the most democratic form of photography out there. So yes. I know some people are just shooting with their smartphones, making Damn. incredible photographs. And so it's, 
it's something that is not limited by the gear or your yes. expertise now. So you could just use any point and shoot camera yeah. as long as you're capturing images with life and soul. Yeah. So I think it's it's on the up and up and more people are getting introduced to it yeah. and creating, really pushing the, the boundaries of street photography forward. Yeah, and I mean, obviously we're sitting here, we're talking yeah. with these ex expensive cameras here, yeah, yeah. But, but I know you also shoot Ricoh sometimes, you yeah. also shoot uh, Fujifilm and they send you cameras to yeah. test or they, they gift it to you because you are Eric Kim. And, and for myself, I was showing you some of the smartphones stuff mm -hmm. I've done. And so you're right, it is democratic where, uh, and I've seen your workshops, I mean, Fuji and Leica kind of, they're side by side, right? That's probably what you see yeah. most in all your workshops? Definitely. I mean, two brands? I mean, I see like Fujis, you see Ricos, you see people with, you know, uh, micro four thirds like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Olympuses, yeah, 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 yeah. And Leicas. You got oh, a little bit of everything. Peter, uh, no, no, you can cut you through. Come, come, you know, cut, 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 cut on. There you go. This is a real store yeah. making real money. Yeah, so we, know. yeah, we're interrupting and them. It's, so. it's funny because like I had this one guy come to my, one of my workshops. Yeah. Um, and he shot with the iPhone the entire time. Yeah. Well, and he got, actually got the best photos from the workshop. Well, well, half the guys who had Leicas are like, wow, we should just sell our Leicas <laughs> and just shoot with an iPhone. So it proves actually it's not. I mean, the camera. It's like driving a Ferrari. It helps that you have 800 horses. Car, yeah. But that doesn't mean you win every race. Yeah. If you know how to drive, that goes a long way versus the equipment. So it's great to have great equipment, but you're an advocate of, of gas, right? I'm actually okay. a non advocate of yeah. gear acquisition syndrome. Yeah, I think it's important to find a camera which suits you. I mean, not every single shoe would fit every single foot. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like for my personal experiences, like, I mean, I still get gassy. Once a while. Like, you know, whenever, I, I whenever gassy stuff comes out, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I still try to remind myself. Rather than buying new cameras, I'd rather spend money on experiences, yeah, on yeah, travel. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. would I rather spend five grand on a new camera or five trip round trip tickets around the world? I'd probably go for the, the tickets. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, each to his own. I mean, if you have the disposable income and you want a camera with certain preferences, mm -hmm. but ultimately, I try to advocate, you know, don't worry as much about the camera. Work yeah, yeah. is fo focus more on creating art yeah, yeah. and actually having time and, you know, resources to go and travel and shoot photos that interest you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, I find that when I went to Hong Kong, I had a Leica, I had a Rico, I had a Fuji, yeah. and I was actually stressed because each one was a different style of shooting, yep. and you had to change mode. So it was actually better one day I take the Leica, the next day I take the Rico. But the first two hours, the pictures were horrible. You know, you have to get into that mindset of Rico, no viewfinder. And then you got the Leica T, is a different touch screen, yep. and then the X100T, and then that's the optical viewfinder, and you're changing your mindset. And I actually complained thinking, it Actually, I would have taken better pictures with just one camera, yeah. you know. And the one thing that was consistent for me was my iPhone. And that's where I got actually the best pictures. Yeah. My iPhone. yeah, like I get the same thing too. Is I have a decision anxiety. Yeah. So if I'm out shooting with more than one camera, yeah. you know, shooting film and digital, I'm like, oh, shoot film. Oh, should I also shoot digital? And, then, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's so stressful. And yeah, now yeah, yeah. I'm pretty much my entire. I'm, I'm traveling for three three months, and yeah, yeah. all I pretty much brought is my my film Leica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's a lot less stressful now. Black, is that, black and white. Yeah, shooting yeah. Tri-X. So you have yellow. Yeah. Got a little yellow filter, filter yeah, try yeah, X, yeah. pushing to 1600. Ooh, and so there's no stress now. It's like yeah, yeah. I only have one camera, one lens, yeah, 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 yeah. and you know, I'm not fumbling around to shoot with anything else. Yeah, yeah. Having said that, though, there are a lot of cases where just shooting with a smartphone, yeah, 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 yeah. able to get really good street portraits right. for that, okay. it's actually been a lot of fun, too. Oh, very good. You know, I, I, Cindy, how, how's like uh, it's not dead yet, right? It's not dead. But yeah. the, you can see the minutes going? Yeah, you still have about like three minutes. Oh, three minutes? Oh, very good. Yeah. So, Eric, yeah. thank you so much um, for coming to Vancouver, yep. spending some time. Again, I'd like to thank you because you, know, you were the first guy to interview me. You know, and really? uh, my profile, yeah, but like 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 in a street style what? setting, yeah, yeah. and then my profile went up, and then you really motivated me to start shooting my own videos, trying to create a, a photo community. And I, unlike you, you know, you, you travel the world, but I thought let's make Vancouver my home base, That's and great. then I try to create a community of photographers, uh, have an association with all the local brands, the local reps. Uh, Revolver Coffee, yep, you guys yep, that are, yep. yeah, are photo enthusiasts, and um, that's where we first met last year. And yeah. so that way, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting results in terms of creating a community, that's and that's sort of my gist of my style. Of shooting. Well, for for those of you guys watching this video out there, Take, one of the most enthusiastic and passionate guys <laughs> I personally met, and I think it's what you're doing for the community is wonderful because one of the problems I have because I'm traveling so much, yes, of course. I don't have a sense of community when I'm just in one place, because I'm not in one place for that long. So I think what you're doing is for now. For now. For now. Once you get married and uh, have some kids, uh, and, uh, and, uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll there. see what happens. We'll see what happens. But until but then. Looking forward to collaborating more. And yes, for yeah. sure. So thank you so much. We're in Leo's cameras. We close off with a click click. You don't have to use real film if you okay. don't want, but yep. we just put a camera. So thank you for watching. We'll see you again. Click click. click. click.
Testing, testing, one, two, three. Click, click. One, two, three. One, two, three, testing. <laughs>